Good afternoon and welcome. We are coming to you live from the Fiji Symposium in Bangalore, the platform for all dialogue on financial inclusion. And with me is a partner from the CPMI, Mark Hollanders. Welcome, Mark. So tell us, how does it feel to be part of the first Fiji Symposium? Great, thank you. It's wonderful to be here. Um, I mean, we've worked hard on getting this thing uh, organized and I'm so happy that to see so many people showed up and are here and things are going very well. It's only the first day, of course, but I look forward to the rest of the symposium, which is, I think, going well. So Mark, can you tell us more about the potential of digital financial services to increase financial inclusion? I think there's a great potential and as we have seen in many countries, this potential has been used to effectively promote uh, financial inclusion and get many more people included. However, at the same time, um, we like to emphasize the fact that it should not be a substitute for the traditional banking channels, but we think they are complementary. So we, in our work at the CPMI, uh, we try to uh, have a balance whereby we say, okay, it's very good to use mobile services, but they're also regular banking channels and they're also very good. So we try to find a balance between those two uh, things because we think they can complement each other and be very helpful. But it's true that in certain circumstances and certain environments, digital financial inclusion is really a big step forward for many people and we hope that this can help these people to get all to the more traditional banking channels as well so they have access to all the services meaning getting a loan having a saving product making investment buying an in insurance uh, saving for the children's education do all these things through whichever channel they prefer but have access to all the channels and not just exclusively one and more specifically with regards to CPMI, can you tell us the main focus areas that they're concentrating on to increase financial inclusion? Well, let me start by saying that uh, we're very happy to be able to support the Fiji. We support it very much. Uh, we think it's an excellent opportunity to bring together a number of partners who have done and are doing considerable and good work in this area. We, the CPMI, or the Committee on Payments and Markets Infrastructures at the Bank of International Settlements in Switzerland, uh, we've worked closely with the World Bank before on other things like remittances and, 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 and payment services with a social impact. So we were very pleased when we had the opportunity to jointly work with the World Bank on the payment aspects of financial inclusion, a report we published in April 2016. And we see Fiji as an excellent platform to leverage on this report, to have an opportunity to spread the knowledge of this report. We have a number of guiding principles in this report which we think if people, countries, companies implement them will actually promote financial inclusion. So we see this as a tremendous opportunity to bring out a message, to show the world that the CPMI cares, that the World Bank cares and that we really think we can make a difference. And we are happy of course that the partners like uh, the Gates Foundation and the ITU have joined us because you know the more people, the more money, the more uh, resources you can put behind the initiative, the more success uh, you're likely to have. This shows, uh, the, the symposium shows this. I mean, this is a big thing uh, organized. It'd be very difficult for any one of us to organize this uh, individually. So when you work together, you get a bigger mass of people. You're able to attract a lot of people. You get good venues and people. And really, I think this is, this is the first major thing we do in Fiji. Uh, but now we're starting also with the working groups and we're contributing to that. So I'm very hopeful that within the next three years, we will see a lot of progress. And I'm really grateful for Fiji to help us uh, in achieving that. That's great. Here's to a good future then. Thank you very much.